You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping Raw from October 30th. Yeah. The, I guess, Halloween episode of Raw, even yeah. though it wasn't Halloween. Well, they didn't really make that many uh, Halloween. They did more than SmackDown. It's true. They did. <laughs> um, but yeah, they all they really did, well, there was one match that was Halloween themed. Mm-hmm. And then the, uh, like a lot of like the... I guess the pictures or mm-hmm. whatever you want to call those. Oh, with, with like, like the, the wrestlers. Graphics. Yeah, yeah, the graphics. yeah, they had, they the had like pumpkin. little like that and like cobwebs and stuff like that. That was yeah. that was really the extent of it. Yep. Corey Graves wasn't dressed up. No, that was disappointing yeah. on either show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, well, we didn't get to SmackDown yet. It's so. true. But overall, it was a yeah, good show. Yeah, it was a good Raw. Yeah. Um, Usually, they, they don't really disappoint. Not recently, anyway. Yeah. Um, We had a few returns. Yes. That we'll uh, obviously get to over the course of the Mm -hmm. show. Um, But yeah, the show opened. Well, first, it was a recap of what had happened last week. Under Siege. Yeah. Um, And then it opened with uh, Kurt Angle coming down to the... Or in the ring. Mm -hmm. And the entire Raw roster, probably less a few people. Yeah. Specifically, The Miz was not there. Oh, yeah. But I'm sure there was other people who weren't there. But the Miz was the noteworthy one. Um, he he's uh, out in the ring and he is apologizing to the Royal roster because he let this happen to them. I let my friend Shane come in here and I put let my guard down and yep. this is what he did. It's true. Yep. And then uh, in the middle of his apology, Stephanie McMahon, her music hits and she comes out. I and- cringed a little bit. I don't know. She's I well. Don't, she didn't bother me. No, no. It was just like I hope this isn't another twenty-minute promo that used to start off for a. Yeah. Well, this this was good. Oh yeah. No, it absolutely. Very. Mm-hmm. So she comes out. She pushes all the all the wrestlers aside. Just get out of my way. Um, and then she goes down to the ring and starts yelling at him, saying that uh, my father built this. Well, first she announced the um. The 25th anniversary of Raw, yep, the which is show that's taking place at two locations. Yes, right? it, it's going to be a, a mess. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, so, because uh, I, I don't know exactly if they released any exact details, they really just said it's going to be taking place at two places, yep. and there's going to be legends returning. Yeah, specifically Kevin you Nash. You legends stay over here. Yeah. It, that's kind of what they did, I think. <laughs> I don't it's know. like uh, Kevin Nash, Shawn Michaels, and, and the Undertaker. Yeah. Or supposedly yeah. going to be there. I don't know if the Undertaker was definitely they, going they, to be there. They like rumored it, mm-hmm. and then they said that it's possible on right. TV. Yeah. So that means that most likely he will be there. It's true. Um, but she announces that, and then she says to her and Angle that um, the the uh, legacy that Vince has made with Raw mm-hmm. could only be uh, damaged by one person, and apparently it was him. Yep. He said, up until last week, you were doing a good, good job, yeah. and then you let this happen. Mm-hmm. And, so uh, uh, she makes him team captain of Raw at Survivor Series and, and says, if you do not win, you're fired. More or less. Yeah, she uh, she said this is his only opportunity to uh, to make it up. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. so, yeah. I'll tell you what, though. Stephanie, mm-hmm. uh, even if her material isn't always you know the most interesting she is really good she makes a good heel yeah she oh yeah it because like normally like and shane's kind of a good example Mm -hmm. that just because you've been around the business for a long time doesn't mean you necessarily pick up a lot of things it's true stephanie probably has learned so much from just some of a lot of the talent that's come and gone mm-hmm. and just yeah yeah because day-to-day operations while whatnot. shane wasn't around for a while he certainly was never at the level that stephanie is in no i mean of, he's uh, got a, there's a lot of awkwardness when he's out there like he just does stuff because he doesn't know what to do yeah he also it's tries like to he's dancing yeah, he tries to pander <laughs> mm. whereas well he's supposed to be he the is, good guy yeah. i know but at the same time even if steph because she has been a face in the past right um she never really does that too much minus the you know we're in this right. place, but mm-hmm. that's kind of mandatory at this point yeah. in time, especially for an authority figure. That's true. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. it was, uh, it was a, a nice way to start the show, established as a current angle as the uh, the captain of Team Raw, Yep, which we kind of saw coming, mm-hmm. especially con- cons- eh. considering that he made his return at TLC. 
Yeah. So then we uh, go backstage, and uh, was it Kurt Angle escorting Stephanie to her limo, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, Stephanie says, you know, if, if you don't think I'm serious, just ask Mick Foley. Yep. And then the uh, another limo pulls up, and the Miz and the uh, a returning Bo Dallas and Curtis yeah, Axel get out. He's alive. He is. And uh, I guess first they talk about Kurt being the team captain, right? Or does he say you're late? Well, because uh, the, the um, angle yells at him right, for, for being, being late. late. Okay, and, and then, then he said he you missed, you know, Stephanie well, coming Steph- and mm-hmm. saying that, that I was team captain. Mm-hmm. He's like, and then the Miz is like, "Oh, great, we're going to be led by incompetence." Yeah, and he was <laughs> he was complaining because everything always has to be about angle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's <clears> funny. <throat> it's uh, kind of similar to the way Owens and uh, Zane is literally the same yeah. story, except for the good guy is on the wrong. Oh no. No, no, that's yeah. right. Because yeah, it's the yeah. same thing. Yeah. It's the same story. Yeah. Okay, um, but it's being told better yeah. on SmackDown. And then, uh, well, no, I wouldn't say better. No, 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 no absolutely but not. They're slightly different. It's, yeah, and, it's a little different. Yeah, and the um, Miz is the best. Mm-hmm. So, but I think Kurt says, you know, that he's not defending his title at Survivor Series, but he's going to defend it tonight against a mystery opponent. Yes, a, a very mysterious yes. opponent. Indeed. Originally, I thought they were going to have Joe come back. And, and I and, still don't think that they're gonna do the heel versus heel no, thing for the IC title. No, but I, I'm still getting heel versus heel matches. Well, so far, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think there's a good chance that Sin Cara can take that <laughs> off of, of uh, Baron. Yeah, well, we'll get into that. It's certainly because possible. Because I, I know there's there's a reason why he's getting a push now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go into it on our SmackDown. Oh, they're review. gonna get tour Mexico. <laughs> Is that what they're doing? <laughs> no. That makes sense. No. I got it. Yeah. That's what we do now. Sin Cara masks for everybody. Chris yeah. Jericho will be their salesman. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Then we get to our first match of the evening, mm-hmm. which uh, is apparently Bailey versus Alicia Fox. Yeah. So Bailey comes out, and then Alicia Fox comes out wearing a uh, captain's hat. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is your captain speaking. She she plays a very good crazy person. <laughs> she I does. Must say. Yeah, she's she's growing on me as yep. a character. Well, I mean, when she's not being super whiny and mm-hmm. she's being a creative crazy person, it's a right. lot more tolerable. Yeah, this this was really good because her whining and screaming, uh, like oh, having it's... hissy fits, not great. Mm-mm. But no. you know, being you know kooky yeah. and coming up with things like this, it's mm-hmm. good. So uh, she comes out and she's like, you know, you're not going to be facing me tonight. But you're going to be facing, and then Nia Jax comes back. Yeah, she she apparently had a lot of uh, important things to do yeah. because there's a lot of responsibility being the team captain. Mm-hmm. So she didn't have time to face Bailey. Yeah. So this was uh, not really a huge surprise. No. Uh, well, obviously Nia Jax is back. Yes. She was another return. Yeah. Uh, uh, kind of. She was off TV for two weeks. Yeah, I something. Yeah, I think it was just that. I don't know. There was a million different stories going around well, about why she left TV, and well, apparently yeah. none of them were really true. Apparently, she was dealing with a back issue or something like that, yeah, or was, an injury. I was gonna age. say, I know that there was a lot of it had to do with the fact that Neville had left at the mm-hmm. same time, right? And so people were saying that she, The Rock, told her to walk off, mm-hmm. and there's, and a there's a lot no of validity to that. Yeah. But, well, you know, people come up with mm-hmm. crazy ideas, and then they kind of just go go uh even worse yep so uh nia Jax got the one with this like spear com right she kind of speared her down and then yeah she kind of just like threw her down and then she hit her, hit with, her with the leg, leg drop, drop and that was it yeah it was not a it wasn't a terrible match mm-hmm. it was a pretty one-sided nobody got hurt it's true it's a big <laughs> big plus um just because last time i think the two of them had a singles match was when bailey got hurt yes, right i believe so yeah um, and then after the match, Alicia Fox was on the outside at the whole time. Yeah, yeah, mistaken. she was standing on the stage awkwardly. Yeah, but but you didn't know that until they just panned back over and she mm-hmm. was still standing up there. Yeah. So uh, after the match, he announces that uh, Nia Jax is going to be her first pick for mm-hmm. Team Raw. Makes sense. Uh, I didn't really think that there was going to be picks on Raw. No, but we well now we know who. Kurt Angle's first pick is. They well, announced yeah. it yesterday, I believe, on yeah. Twitter. But I'm just saying that, like, SmackDown, obviously, the women, there was no well, picks. They, well, Daniel Bryan made it very clear. Yeah, but at the same time, Raw doesn't have that many more people. No, they don't. So it's not like they have options. So I don't understand. Because it's going to be, I think... We have Becky... Not Becky, I'm sorry. Bailey. I was going to say. Uh, Sasha. It's going to be Bailey, Sasha, Alicia Fox, and um, 
and Nia. Nia. Yeah. Who and else do you have? You just have Asuka, well, right? It is, it's Asuka or, or Mickey James Mickey, or right. um, Dana Brooke. Oh, yeah. So it's probably going to be Asuka. Maybe, I don't know. Well, and this Depend, is... You know, if they lose, you're not going to have Asuka on the team, you know? You could, because she could get, like, disqualified or something. Yeah, I guess so. I just don't... I don't see them well, doing what, that. What just... could happen is that she gets, like, um, like knocked out or something on the outside by, like, a Charlotte Moonsault or something like that. Not going to happen. All right. Well, and this was my thought, because there's a lot of potential of this happening. Mm-hmm. You can't have a big four pay-per-view with big names not on the card and as of right now the only storylines really going on are the survivor series ones it's true so if like oscar's not in that match Mm -hmm. she's not on the card yeah if um and i i know this obviously is probably not going to happen let's say roman reigns isn't on team raw Mm -hmm. he's not on the card right that's not going to happen no so yeah, you know what I mean. I I get it. I, so I, I, get it. I, I it's it's hard to believe that they're not going to do that because they are trying to pick the best of each team, right? And at the same time, Raw is probably going to win that one because they're probably not going to win the. Well, they're definitely going to win the men's. You sure? Yeah. All right. Uh, unless I, I, I don't, guess... I don't think they should. Well, no, they should. I guess maybe not because of what we had talked about. Yeah, I think that there's a good chance that Shane's going to win. Or if 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 Shane well, loses. you have the same thing going on on both teams yeah. where you could have Owens and Zayn cost Shane. The yeah, win, I guess, that and then would... you have you know the Miz possibly costing Kurt I, Angle. I like the idea of Kurt Angle just coming back as a wrestler mm-hmm. and and having Shane. I I would prefer that to happen over Shane having another um, feud with Kevin Owens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so fair. well. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell because yeah. I, I don't. At the same time, I don't know if they're gonna have uh, Angle come back as a full time wrestler. Probably or, not. Or maybe what they'll do is have him come back. But you know, he's no. Nah, he's gonna stay GM. They're gonna win. Yeah, there's no way they don't. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. And at the same time, it really doesn't matter. Who no, it doesn't. Things. It makes a difference. So as Nia Jax is leaving, uh, Samoa Joe comes out. Yeah, and, and it wasn't even like she got up the ramp no she was, just literally finished the match and he was, he almost knocks both of them over as he's going to the ring he got a good reaction coming back which yes. was nice to see mm. which was perfect for his promo well yeah so uh he when he comes out he grabs the microphone and he's like did you guys miss me sounds like you did well i didn't miss you because <laughs> no one wished me well mm. while i was out yeah. or something like that now every opponent i beat down i'm gonna think it's each and every one of you <laughs> just saying about yeah. the fans yeah uh, Samoa joe's an angry he is but yeah. he's so good yeah so uh and then uh apparently well this was confusing well, because he he says that i'll i'll take, take down anybody, anybody from the back right and then all of a sudden apollo cruz comes out and then michael cole is like apollo wanted this match because he wanted to prove himself that he could you know take down the best and he wants to be a part of the survivor series yeah team so or something it was like a that. little bit confusing was this a predetermined match was this a calling anybody in the back kind mm-hmm. of match i don't know anyway poor apollo yeah well obviously he wasn't gonna win no he got his ass kicked mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, right. That that was funny. So during the match, I, Booker T says that uh, he's been in the ring with uh, Samoa Joe before, which is which something we're not allowed to talk no, about. No, did you know that they wrestled in WWE ring together? They most certainly did. I not. don't think so. Um, they're obviously referencing, <laughs> uh, I guess, a feud they must have had in TNA. Yeah, when uh, Booker was still an active wrestler, mm-hmm. he's been doing that a lot lately. Oh, he's talking is. about stuff he is not supposed <laughs> to be talking about. What do you mean, Kurt Angle's been in the ring before? Is in those eleven years? Yep, I was They're in the ring with him. I was going to say specifically <laughs> with him. Um, oh man! But yeah, it, Joe ends up winning with yeah. the Coquina clutch. Yep. At one point in the match, he threw his gum at Titus O'Neil outside the ring, and then after the match, Titus went after Joe, and then Joe put him in the Coquina clutch, and that was it. Yep. So what are we gonna get a handicap match against Joe next week, or probably just Titus against him? Uh, it's probably gonna be Titus against him, and then the handicap match. Yeah, I wouldn't be Possibly. surprised. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised either if they made Joe a part of Team Raw. Uh, it would make sense because as of right now, it's Strowman and Angle 
going to assume Roman's going to be on yeah. the team. So I'm surprised they didn't do the Braun versus Kane at Survivor Series. I was actually thinking they were going to leave, leave it the open f- and fifth then... spot on SmackDown mm-hmm. and not have AJ versus Rusev like they did. Oh, okay. And then... just them not say anything about it mm-hmm. and just say we have uh, a fifth. And then Kane and comes Kane back ends over. up being the fifth member of Team SmackDown to to be Braun's answer, but I guess their whole reason mm-hmm. for Kane getting built up is just for him to lose on a match on Raw yeah. the week before Survivor Series. Probably, yeah, that's it. Doesn't make sense. Because <laughs> yeah. then we saw it again tonight. That was good. There has to be uh, on Monday. There has to be a. Payoff with yeah with Kane being so dominant yeah Kane needs in his there needs to be something years. that happens before their actual inevitable match or that match needs to be like something yeah, huge because it's not like they can prolong this for two forever times. yeah I mean what are they gonna wait till the December pay per view yeah we gotta we gotta find out what it is because we still don't know what no. it is um, so then uh, up next we have the Miz defending his IC title and his mystery opponent is the old man Matt Hardy. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't look like he was moving around very well. well you know, uh, he definitely walks like he's uh, in his fifties rather than in his forties. You got to remember all the all the things <laughs> that this man put his body through. I know, it's just as bad as his brother. Yeah, but I mean, Jeff still can move around pretty good. Surprisingly, you would have thought he would have been the one. Uh, yeah, in the well, worst shape. He is older. Clash yeah, of Champions. Ah, uh, not Clash of the Champions. No. Right, wasn't it that last year? No, it was the it, the old pay per view used to be Clash of the Champions. Oh, is that what it was? When, they changed when the WWE took champions. it, it's Clash of Champions. Oh, okay, and it was one or the other. Why? I don't know. Obviously, it's not going to be then. Yeah. Um, but this was a good match. Uh, Matt uh, and Matt, Miss. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, honestly, it it seemed very believable that uh, Matt, Matt was actually going to pick up the win because well, we had been talking about yeah. the. Uh, I had come up with a theory that. Matt Hardy beats The Miz for the IC title. The Miz is pissed off at Angle, causes him to lose at Survivor Series, and that brings Kurt Angle to his first feud with The Miz, mm-hmm. back wrestling. Well, that and it would... Oh, yeah, Kurt would get face. fired as the... Well, the, that and we have a face for Baron Corbin at the uh, at Survivor right, Series. Right, But I, don't, I, I still don't think that that's going to be a big factor, the heel-face dynamic. Because yeah. technically, Brock Lesnar is still a heel. It's true. So... And it, but it's weird that they keep constantly pushing. But I guess they're just making it seem like, oh, anything can happen. Because, you know, they keep saying that this these might not be the matches that happen at Survivor Series. Oh, yeah. Because um, they made it a point to say it nonstop. Just like, like they this did, is the first, this is the only time of year when SmackDown goes that, head to head that with That they Raw. really have been. And then I think Shane said it as soon as he came out mm-hmm. on SmackDown, mm-hmm. too. I was like, oh, God. Yeah. So, um but yeah, this is this is a this is a good match. Yeah, like you some, said. yeah. Matt Hardy actually hit a moonsault toward the end of the match, got a two count. Yeah. Then ended up hitting a twist of fate, and Miz rolled what to the outside or just to he the was edge? to the like the, to apron. the apron. Yeah. And then he grabbed Matt's head, and rung it on the top rope, mm-hmm. and then he rolled right or ran b- right back into the ring, hit him with the skull crushing finale, and then that got the it. pin. Yeah. So, I I thought that there was a chance that he was going to win, but mm-hmm. inevitably was unable to capture his first ever IC title reign. Yeah, and they yet they did make a point to mm-hmm. mention that. Say so he's been US champion, European champion. They did not say cruiserweight though. Yeah, it's because he was. I think I they're guess trying that's because, to Yeah. They're trying to uh, downplay the fact that there used to be one because they keep it used on to be saying, under 225, right? Or something I think like so, that. But yeah. also the fact that they keep on saying that TJP was the first, first one. Yeah. So I guess they're kind of no, fair wrote enough. off. It, it doesn't matter. Anyway. The original. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. So, so now we have a backstage segment mm-hmm. with uh, Kurt Angle playing on his phone, like he is one to do. Um, Alexa Bliss comes in and congratulates him on being named captain. Mm-hmm. And then she says that I know how, I know a good way that you can keep your job, and that's to get rid of Mickey James. Yeah. And then she right, is. right on the heels of Emma and Summer Rae getting released. Yeah, it, it was, it was, it was, it was good. But at the same time, I was like, man, they just, they just like to uh, take that knife and turn it. I don't know if that was necessarily intentional. No, it was definitely a jab. Come on. But why? I don't. I, 
Why did they do a lot of things? That doesn't make any sense. I think it was a coincidence. All right. You keep thinking that. I could be wrong. And then, uh, yeah, because then Alexa Bliss, oh, you can just cut Mickey. And then she's like, we got plenty of people that we signed from the Mae Young classic. Oh, you can dig up Mae Young herself. Yes, that was was in poor taste. I was like, really? Yeah. It's like, "Eh, whatever. Um, I mean, she's been... She passed away a lot. You know, it's it's been a time. decent amount yeah. of time, but I don't I mean, think it, there's still, any point in time where that's okay to say. It's the WWE just they cross weird lines. Mm. They try to be very. Uh, they do like their dead people angles. That's for sure. Yeah. Well. Yeah. They, At least they, Triple H isn't involved with this one. Yeah. <laughs> they, they like to be like politically correct, but in other points in time, they really just don't know that they're not being. I guess whatever. Um, so uh, angle no, doesn't. Leo Rush didn't come on here and start talking bad about it. Uh... It's true. So, um, but yeah, Angle's not happy with what Alexa had to say and decided that she was going to defend her title mm-hmm. in the main event. In the main event, Against which, Mickey as James. we know, if the Raw Women's t- Championship is defended in the main event, ninety percent of the time, yep. it's it's going to be a, a title hands. change. Yeah. yeah. But... So uh, so yeah. Yep, then we get uh, Asuka versus Stacey Cullen, yes. the jobber. As you uh, put it, I guess she's I guess a local a lo- talent. I would yeah. assume so. Um, I don't know, man. Crowd wasn't really into it. Well, I mean, you can't really get into squash matches too much, but true. they just didn't, I don't know, just really didn't care. I think Asuka. it's just because it was a squash match. I, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. You need, to, you need to put them in with a good opponent or I, I any agree, kind of opponent. But... I don't know how you go. It's a lot easier to get behind someone if they're putting on good matches other than one-sided right, matches. Right, but it's just weird that they went and had her face uh, an established roster member and then put her against jobbers. Oh, you know? I, I'm i not saying I agree with this move. Oh, no, I'm, yeah. I'm, it's just perplexing. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, sense. had Emma still been with the company, would we have seen match number three? Uh, that's possible. <laughs> but... Uh, obviously we have yeah. no way of knowing but <laughs> obviously she gets to win probably with the oscar lock i believe right yeah yeah she tapped out yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. that's probably how most of her matches are gonna go mm-hmm. yep so i like this next segment. <laughs> all right well, take us there so angle again is playing on his phone in the back he looks up and he screams <laughs> everybody it's happening <laughs> Into his walkie-talkie, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Daniel Bryan comes into frame. He's like, oh, it's you. <laughs> As if he didn't know <laughs> who was coming in. Until so, he got up really close to him. Yeah. yeah. So uh, they cut to commercial, and then they come back and come back to, from commercial. And mm-hmm. then uh, Daniel Bry- uh, not, um, Kurt Angle is like, that's unacceptable what you guys did last week, blah, blah, blah. And Daniel Bryan goes... I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. I, I didn't want Shane to do it. I didn't know anything about it. Yep. And he's like, well, I, I want to make it up to I you. I wish I could believe you. Well, yeah, obviously it's hard to believe. Yeah. Even though if you watched SmackDown, he would have known that true. Dan O'Brien didn't really care for what Shane did. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. But, you know. Yep. But they don't watch each other's shows. Apparently not. They just show up there once in a while. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going home now. Yeah. So, um, and then... Uh, Angle makes the claim that he's going to take down SmackDown at Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. uh, yeah. That's it. A lot know. of backstage segments. To start. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess we went to commercial, right? No. Like, or was it was still they, when... They talked about some other match coming up. Oh, whatever. okay. Yeah, right. They would just uh, put the spotlight on the announcers, right? Mm-hmm. Or the commentators. Yeah. And then at the announcement desk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, then we go backstage, and Daniel Bryan's on his cell phone with the screen fully lit. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, the lights go out. And did Kane appear, right? Well, what or happened did... was he's like, is someone there? Oh, right. And then Kane, like, because mm-hmm. he had the light off, and then the light went on. And, and then Kane showed it back yeah. up, and then you heard, confirmed, Daniel Bryan takes a bump. He's going back in the ring. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> Um, but I like how they claimed that he got choke slammed when you, all you heard was go him go. Ugh. Yeah, that's it. Um, so yeah, that was his uh, former tag partner. Yes, they mentioned Team that on Hell SmackDown. No. I don't think they said anything. Probably about not. It on Raw. Yeah, not that it matters. Mm-hmm. Um, that brought us to Finn versus Cesaro, which was originally announced earlier in the night that yes. the match was going to happen, mm-hmm. and this match was pretty good. Yeah, Cesaro is a hell of a specimen. 
Uh, one uh, point, yeah, Finn Balor was on the apron. Yeah, and Cesaro was walking up the top row uh, to the to the top rope, and uh, he, like, in the turnbuckle him. just grabs him with one arm, picks him up, and suplex him into the middle of the ring. I was like, holy crap! Yeah, that was. Uh... I guess it was a superplex, yeah, technically. Yeah, right? yeah. That, that was something. that was beautiful. Yeah, and Sheamus kept getting involved every so often, and uh, Finn eventually won with a version of the coup de gras to the back of like Cesaro's neck. Well, right, he it was, was a double standing, stomp, but he was standing. Yeah, so it was just so, a double stomp to the back of the neck. Yeah, so it's just awkward. Yeah, I guess Cesaro wasn't supposed to be standing. Nah, up. it didn't matter. Yeah, um, it, it's I don't know. It's funny. Uh-huh. Just that. You know, last week he gets beat by Kane, and this, and this week, week he's beat beating Sabara. two people, basically. Yeah. Not that it matters, like well, we no, said. It doesn't make a difference. Mm-mm. So as Finn is leaving, yep. once he gets to the, the ramp, Kane comes out mm-hmm. and uh, hits a tombstone on Balor on the stage. Right on the stage. That's it. I kind of like the uh, the people coming out at the end of the matches. I don't yeah. know. just kept the Not flow waiting. going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because otherwise they'll have Michael Cole talk about something that no one cares about. Yeah. At least he's not telling keep people to keep on sucking. It's true. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then uh, you have them asking them to subscribe to the WWE Network yep. for nine ninety nine mm-hmm. a month. At least they're not holding up they the signs anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, they don't do that that much anymore. Not much. They don't push the network I as think they're much close they to their to. target where they actually expected to be. Well, it, you know, it's a matter of time. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you have to think think about how many people probably share the account as well. That and it's such a good deal. Yeah. So there's really no reason not to buy it. No, that's true. So uh, yeah. But yeah. So, so that brings us to Kane versus Seth Rollins, which yeah. was also announced earlier in the y- night. Yeah, Kane did the thing where he sat in the ring for a while. So did Joe. <laughs> yeah, Joe did that earlier yeah. too. Um. So yeah, he uh, he goes to the ring, and then uh, Dean and Seth come out. Yep. Uh, Shield style. Mm-hmm. Um, and Sheamus and Cesaro apparently never left the ring area, I guess. Yeah, they were hanging out on the yeah. outside. So they beat down Dean outside, right? Mm-hmm. And then Kane chokes Lamb Seth for the win. Yes. This wasn't too, too long. Yeah, it was, it was the match was Seth against yeah. Kane. Yeah. Um, And then, um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty much Sheamus and Cesaro trying to get involved. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah. And then they beat down. Dean and Seth after the match. Yeah, the three of them. I think mm-hmm. they each got tombstoned as well, if I'm not mistaken. Probably. You think maybe we'll get a six-man next week? Pro- with Finn? Yeah. Probably. Maybe. Which, I don't know. It, it's weird, the the whole Strowman thing, how they're building it, because they got diff- different storylines going, but they're kind of parallel with the other one, but they're not yeah. there yet. It flowed a lot better last yeah. month. Right now, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> It's not work- mm. It doesn't seem to be working out as well as yep. it did. So then we go backstage where the Miz is celebrating his win, mm. and in the middle of the locker room is a bag of trash. Yes. Yeah, like, What's so, that smell? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then Miz goes and examines it and looks at it and goes, "This is garbage." Do you think Braun Strowman could be here? And well, then- no. He he said that he is. Oh yeah. He right right. He said it He's is. Braun's yeah. here. Mm-hmm. So yep. It was what? Uh, yeah, it mm-hmm. was interesting. So, uh, up next, the most mm-hmm. exciting part of the night. Oh yeah. So, uh, we had a trick or street fight. Yep. Between which Gal- we had it last year too, right? Yes. That but was, was Gallows and, and Anderson were in it too yeah. last year. It was against Enzo and Cass. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Gallows and Anderson against Heath Slater and Rhino. Yep. And Gallows and Anderson were dressed up as Tex Ferguson, and, uh, Chad, too Chad bad. too bad, and Heath. Slater and Rhino were just up as Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Yes, right? and Rhino is Mrs. Claus. Yes. All right, so before we get into this, uh huh. I know you don't venture too much outside of WWE, mm-hmm. but did you see what Bullet Club did for Halloween? What? They wrestled a six man tag. It was Kenny Omega, uh, Marty Skrull, and Chase Owens versus Trent Beretta, Yoshihashi, and Will Ospreay. Okay. Marty Skrull came out as Aladdin. Um, Chase Owens came out as Genie, and Kenny Omega came out dressed as Jasmine, and it was hilarious <laughs> and fantastic. I'll have to show you the clip after That's we do pretty the recording. Funny, it was really good. Like they put on a great match, and it was just the crowd just gets so into it. That's so pretty funny, fun. though. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Before the the trick or street might fight actually happens, uh, they cut to the Miz wandering mm-hmm. out in the back looking for Kane. 
Uh, he finds Kane and tells him that Braun's back. I guess they were, what, setting up the match at this point, right? Yeah, because they were bringing all the crap to the ring yeah. or whatever. Uh, it says that Braun, uh, and then Kane tells the Miz that Braun knows where to find him because Kane's not afraid of Braun. Mm-hmm. And um, and that uh, Miz goes, uh, it's good to have uh, good, strong people on your team. Yeah. And Kane goes, <laughs> we're not you're on a team. A, yeah, we're not on a team. You're on your own, pal. Yeah, and then uh, the Miz looks concerned, and then they cut back to the ring. Yeah. Um. Pretty much the club kind of had control the whole time. Mm-hmm. And then Slater ends up able to get a pumpkin on, uh, what is it, Anderson's head? I think so. Well, didn't they put the pumpkins on their head? Or are you talking about when this happened outside the ring? Well, at the end of the match. Oh, yeah. I thought they put... Uh, well, One uh, of them got put on the head. The other one put it... No, I think they could have sworn they put them both on their heads. Because well, Gallows put his on backwards and was stumbling in the ring. Oh, uh, yeah. He couldn't see. Yeah. And, and then Carl Anderson went up top with the pumpkin on his head. And I guess he was going to jump jump on Rhino in the table? Or Yeah. And, and then he just ended up getting thrown into the table. Yeah. Because I guess he... I mean, uh, Rhino got up and... Carl Anderson jumped and he caught him and then uh, belly to bellied him through the table, I guess. Yeah. And then picked up the win that way. And Carl, Luke Gallus thought they had won. And then he heard their music and was like, wait a second. Yeah. That's pretty funny. I hope they're having fun doing what they're doing, man, because they don't know what the hell's going on. Well, right now, the club didn't doesn't have a, like a team that they can just get thrown in with. No. So they, I guess the, to get them on TV, they just did this stupid stuff. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Mm hmm. All right. So then we go backstage, and Miz is pleading with Cesaro and Sheamus to help him take out Braun, right? And then he kind of reiterates the same thing and says, you know, it's nice to be a part of a team, a strong team. And they say, nope, you're on your own. So it's, pretty much the same. Yeah. All right. So you I don't got- know how you feel about this, but I, I kind of like when they're kind of playing up to something so throughout the night you kind of get little bits and pieces of it like the miz playing up to the main event well they did I, I the just... same thing at tlc with the garbage comment right yeah yeah but i mean it's just I, they kind of did that with like not just saying with the attitude error but it, it seemed like it happened a lot there well what what's going on is they're telling a story that isn't immediate payoff that's true so they're they're actually writing competently that's really what they're doing <laughs> i think maybe that's what it's catching they're having, by surprise it's 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 a cohesive story that takes place over the course of the entire show. Yeah. That they've, haven't well, really they've been... Well, they've been doing that with Owens a lot, too. Yes, but in but for the most part, a lot of the times, it's everything's isolated. Yep. You get this segment, you get this segment. Because, I mean, how many times have we seen The Shield in one segment and that was it? Mm-hmm. I mean, they did that the first night when they... Or the second night whenever they came for back. Mm. But... That's that not was... even true. What? They, they came out the to fight him and then they had a match later on in the night oh okay oh that's right that's the reason why they got back together fair enough um but uh but it, it, we're seeing it with uh with the fashion files being integrated into mm-hmm. like they're putting bringing in the other wrestlers that right. are still acting like themselves inside of the mm-hmm. yeah so like with uh Ells- with carmella looking for ellsworth right and finding him mm-hmm. with with uh fandango and uh tyler <laughs> breeze good. so uh so yeah, yeah. But, yep. um, then we got uh elias out in the ring singing a song i guess it was his, the ballad of jason jordan right yep. uh, so he basically has a replay of him hitting him with the guitar of last week and singing his song mm-hmm. and then out comes jason jordan showing his prize that he won last week nice uh, the broken guitar yeah well, I was talking about his bruise on his arm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, him and Jason Jordan kind of go back and forth for a little bit. Elias ends up outside the ring. Jason Jordan breaks his guitar, mm-hmm. steps it. on it, starts smashing it. Yep. Um. So yeah, that's uh, that's still going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, for a like a I don't know D F storyline, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not terrible. Yeah, Jason Jordan actually wrestled on main event this past week too. Yeah. But they've they've put much uh, staler. Feuds, oh yeah, yeah cause, much no, no, higher. No, it's up fine the card. because you get them both time, and it took what two minutes of the show. Yeah, so they they've certainly done worse. <laughs> oh yeah, and they will continue to do worse. Yeah. So um, oh, uh, this was good. Backstage again, the Miz Taraj are walking down the hall, yeah. and uh, the Miz is freaking out mm-hmm. because uh, he knows Braun's around. Yeah. 
Um, he makes a Stranger Things reference. Did he say it was the Upside Down? or was... no, well, I forget he's... what he said exactly. Well, he said that I feel like I'm running away from the, the creature. Demogorgon, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, remember yeah. What that's what called. he said. He did say that. Okay, yeah. yes, yes. And then um, he, they run into Angle. Mm. Angle says, where are you going? You're, you came in late, now you're leaving early? Yeah. Uh-uh, not happening. Now, when did Kurt say that it was very cowardly of him to leave early like he did last week? because of the attack was that earlier in the show no it was here was it here it's like last week you left early i'm not letting it happen again right because of what happened later yeah so does that mean brock lesnar is uh in the same category as the miz yes okay but we're just not going to talk about it right obviously <laughs> brock lesnar doesn't need to be there brock lesnar's there when he chooses to be i there. know it's a choke i know i'm just saying that, yeah, that's that's enough. that's that's storyline right there that's not even no it's boring well i know but i'm just saying it's <laughs> It's not even like, like we don't talk about it kind of stuff. It's storyline. I guess Lesnar so. Brock Lesnar does what Brock Lesnar wants. I know that because Paul Heyman told me. Yeah. Yeah. And he told you everybody still else. Uh, sometimes. Okay. Uh, he probably said it a while ago. I just remember. Probably. Um, so then we uh, have Enzo coming out. Yes. And apparently I the, guess he's, his voice is still um, hoarse. Which is fine because I like his voice piece yes. for last or for uh, Monday night. Mister Gabagool, right? Drew Gulak. Yeah, Drew Gulak did one of uh, Enzo's promos mm-hmm. or what Enzo would say, but he talked <laughs> as if it was Drew Gulak talking. <laughs> it was fantastic, and he got to the end with the soft thing, and he's like S O F T soft. <laughs> Don't you ever do that again. I'll kill you. <laughs> it was great. Yep. So apparently this led to Drew Gulak versus Kalisto. Mm-hmm. Another show stealer. Um, Kalisto wins with the Salidas de Soul, right? Yes. And after the match, Endo beats up Kalisto. And not even like... It's as soon as the three count happened, yeah, he got say, in there. It's not even so much with uh, like they celebrate and mm. then they attack. It yeah. was like the ref counted to three and Enzo was already yeah. in the ring. Uh, what he hit him with the Jordanzo? Yeah. Or did yeah. they change it again? Did they change the um, name? Or it's still. I think they still. Yeah. I called it that. So. Uh, so yeah, that was. Yep. You know. It was something. So uh, again in the back, yep. Miz tells uh Bo Dallas to tell the driver to get the car ready. We'll leave it soon. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Yep. It's a lot of backstage Miz segments. Not that yeah. it's bad, no. but it, it felt like they were trying to kill a lot of time. A little bit. Or or they were just building up this story that mm-hmm. makes it seem like... Well, the still is... no Bray and still no Roman, so you would have to assume that they had some sort of... Yeah, time. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, it was weird. I don't know what they would have been doing. I don't care about what they would have been doing with Bray, but with Roman, I wonder what they... Probably just be involved there. with yeah. uh, with what Dean and Seth are doing. Mm-hmm. I would imagine they wouldn't change it. Yeah. Um. So, but yeah. Well, yeah, because we kind of said that the TLC match probably would have played out the same. Oh, um, probably exactly yeah. the same. Um, but yeah, uh, yep, that brought us to the main event. Yes, Nikki James versus Alexa Bliss. Mm-hmm. Um, crowd wasn't really into this. CM Punk chance. Yeah. Mm. Well, it like I get it when they do it with the McMahons, but why, why are you doing it in a regular match? Oh yeah, fans suck. They're the worst. Um. I, yeah, I really don't understand why they have to ruin everything. Because <laughs> that's pretty much what they do. Yeah, because this was a decent match. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, the two worked the well together. The finish was it weird. It was odd. Yeah. Because uh, Mickey James pretty much held control of the match. Yeah, she was pretty dominant. Yeah. And then at one point, I guess Alexa Bliss just kind of punched her yeah, in the she, face. Yeah, she she hit one of Big Show's KO punches. <laughs> yeah, and then they got the three count. I was yeah. like, really? That's, that's, that's the you, end? You know what might have happened? Hmm. The, they like, probably said, it's, you're out of time. You guys yeah. got to get this done. Yeah, yeah that's, that's uh, what I, I would assume. imagine is the case. Yeah, because it was only, it was what, 11 it was, o'clock? It was 11 o'clock yeah. when that happened. So I'm like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. And then after that, they uh, cut to the back, mm-hmm. and it had The Miz and... Uh, Dallas and Axel running down the hallway. So we got to go. We got to go. The show's over. Yep. We got to go. So they get to their limo. Mm-hmm. They're like, driver, drive, drive, drive. So they go. He opens the door. They get, he's like, got to close the trunk. Close the trunk. And they start to get in. And garbage truck pulls up, right? Gets in the, is it blocking the limousine's mm-hmm. path? Yeah. It's like, oh, I wonder what that means. Yep. 
<laughs> so the garbage truck starts to open the back and mm-hmm. it's decompressing and then appearing out of thin air it's brawn yeah it was pretty fun it was fantastic this uh, they run uh back toward the uh arena and Braun just jumps on top of the limo, and you just see him start running onto the dock and yep. into the back. It was fantastic. Yeah. So they chase him down to the ring, and he pretty much dismantles all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, Dallas and uh, The Miz get away, so Axel is just absolutely destroyed. Oh, yeah. What, did he take three or four? Uh, it was, I think it was power three. Power slams? He, he picks, he picks uh, Dal- uh, Axel up drags him to the top of the ramp mm-hmm. the miz and dallas run to the back and then he takes axel and throws him through the commentator table mm-hmm. uh that was good so they're really uh they're they're kind of letting the whole braun thing organically happen like they've they've obviously put the wheels in motion that he's turned to, to face mm-hmm. but i mean they're the crowd's just completely behind him and everything they, they've been behind him for no a i while. know but i mean they've let it happen like so basically, and they kind they might have. I don't know if they were originally planning on turning him face uh-huh. or not, but they. I, I think of, they didn't have a choice. Yeah, exactly. But I'm, that's what I'm saying. He yeah. was able to. The crowd was able to actually because, nudge them in the right direction because Braun can act like Braun, but right. be a good guy. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, and who knew that getting murdered is the best way to get over? <laughs> oh man, I'm sure it's happened before. Yep. Wouldn't be surprised. No, but uh, good stuff going on. Yeah. Especially with Braun. I'm, yeah. I'm glad they've been able to get something mm-hmm. that happened, like I said, organically, where they're actually not forcing someone down your throat and you're happy to see them. Mm-hmm. So. Although, uh, actually, also, I'm pretty impressed that the fact that the Raw are, they're able to have, with, with no real consequence at the end of the line, because mm-hmm. Survivor Series is Raw versus SmackDown, they're able to have storylines that don't really have anything to do, do with, with the it. Survivor Series, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's good. Mm-hmm. Well, granted, that could change over the next few weeks, but they they're if they're getting closer, obviously, it makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So, if But I kind of like how they had the invasion, and they're going to let it, you know, kind of slowly burn, and mm-hmm. then, yeah. No real retaliation. Nope. And just talking know, about it, yes. little bits and pieces. Because if, if they if they did it all at once, mm-hmm. it would have completely lost all of its yeah you know interest very sure. quickly so yeah, yep. they've been doing a good job with the with the writing yeah so, so uh, uh yeah. yeah this has been our raw review if you liked what you see here please like share and subscribe bye bye